the fist, think a flick with a dick in this bitch. Bro got a cannon like Nick in this bitch. I shoot the shot, then he got the assist. She throw it back while I'm gripping her hips. If her nigga talking, then I'm busting his lip. Uh, I got a gift with this music, they say I keep gon' notice. I bet this girl on a Friday, I took her like Chris and don't ask me about it. You know this, man. Throw out the jelly, I know this your jam. You might be the Tommy like Gina and Pam. Feel like a drummer, I'm trying to get the bands. Bitch, I'm a wolf, I'm surrounded by lamb. Huh? Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so you know we've been in quarantine for a couple of like maybe like two weeks now. So I'm like this is the perfect time for me to, you know, get my videos and everything done. I told y'all that I always would come out here with my brows done because I was gonna do a brow tutorial, but I still have that coming, just you know. Bear with me, my hands are a little dry right now, so if you see them looking ashy, I just wash my hands. Every time you do your makeup, you should wash your hands beforehand, even before this corona stuff came out. You should have been washing your hands, you know, before you do your makeup, regardless. I'm gonna use my Nika K Dark Brown Eyebrow Pencil. This is literally my favorite. You can get this from any beauty supply store. I already like moisturized my face and everything like that, so that's good. I put some. I knocked some other. They don't look like mad dry, but I can feel them like getting a little bit dry. And if you hear people talking in my background, I'm at my grandma's house and you know, her neighbors. So I've been doing my brows very much so natural. Lately, I really want it to look more so here, like, you know what I mean? So I don't um, press really hard or anything like that. I really take my time. And if I don't say every product or whatever that I use, this time I'm gonna to try to list my products at the bottom. So I really don't have to keep showing y'all and saying everything that I'm using because that is kind of annoying. Sometimes stopping to just say what I'm using or what I'm doing, like that's kind of annoying. So that's pretty much as much product as I really wanna put on my brows. This one Chris Brown was my boo. When I used to be like really into light skin niggas, you know. Light skin dudes used to be my thing back in the day. Now I'm more so into that sexy chocolate. I don't know what happened, but yeah. I don't know, light skin niggas just be blowing me. But dark skin niggas be blowing me too, but there's just something about y'all light skin niggas that I can't do no more. Like I can't I can't do nothing with y'all. I, I really am thinking right now. I, but I still I'm saying dudes wise. Like light skin girls are still my thing, like for sure. Even though I will I would date a brown skin girl, but you know, or a dark skin girl, but you know, light skin girls still do it for me. They still give me something, you know? So my brows are pretty much on. We are going to start concealing with this. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Corrector Multi-Usage thing. I hate this concealer with a passion and it's just so messy and like it's like to me I don't feel like it's sanitary but I'll pay for it so I'm gonna use it and it's pretty much closer to my skin tone than the um, Tarte Shape Tape that I'm gonna use when I actually start doing eyeshadow so this one I'm gonna use to cover my brows because I really don't like when my eyebrows look super like a halo around them like highlighted. I don't like that. Um, you always got the sexy underwear on. But um so I need to like go to a class to learn how to do my own taxes because I get tired of counting on people to do anything for me. Like, I'm really a self-made type of girl. Like, I really don't like counting on anybody to do anything for me, literally. Like, I really want to do everything for myself, and I don't want to count on anybody. So, especially when it comes to my personal information and stuff, I don't even like giving that type of stuff out anyway. So, that's another reason why I need to learn how to do my own stuff. Because you don't want people playing around with your stuff. I know people that, like, have to owe the IRS or have like car insurance and they don't even drive they've never dr drove a car in their life and like now they have like bill collectors calling for car insurance because I guess whoever they gave their social security number to and all that information to use their information to like get themselves stuff and didn't pay their bills or whatever the case may be and I just don't want that to be me because I'm literally psycho like I will literally try to kill someone if they do some stuff like that to me like I check my um credit score heavily now like since i've grown up like i'll be checking that shit like twice a month to make sure i don't have any like excess stuff on my you know on my credit score saying like i have to owe somebody something or I have to pay a bill that i know damn well i never got in the first place so okay it's one brow. It's not really perfect, it's like how I want it to be, but it's like, you know, I haven't like 
shave them or pluck them or anything like that. So it's like, you know, you're going to get what you get. I remember when I first like really started to get into makeup and stuff, my sister used to have to do my brows all the time because I was garbage. Literally, like I did not know what the hell I was doing, y'all. My brows would be so dark all over. Like, I didn't know how to pluck my shit properly. I used to pluck my, my brows like bald. I used to cry so bad because I used to look so terrible. And I could not, I just didn't understand like what the hell was I doing different than what my sister was doing. But practice literally makes perfect. And I ended up, you know, getting it. And me and her actually do our brows different. Um, I don't even like the way, I mean, her brows are good on her because she, you know, she has a smaller face. I feel like I have a fatter face, a bigger head. I have thicker hair, brows, and all that type of stuff than she does. So I have to do my stuff a certain way. The way that I like, I mean, I still feel like if she do my brows, like how she does hers now, they would still look good. But me personally, like, I like my stuff a little more thicker. I'm not really a thin, thin, not but thin, like, hair person on my head, nor my brows. Like, I don't really like them being super thin. I like them to look a little bushy, hairy, you know. That's the vibe for me. Sometimes she call me trigger because I make a body. Then I think my name is who I make a cut. Now I'm going to take my chart shape tape in the color tan sand. And I'm just gonna like lightly put a little bit on my. This shit looks so disgusting. I hate this thing. But, um, you see how it's not like super highlighted around my brows? I actually like the fact that it's like that. But I hate that concealer or corrector, whatever the other one call it. So I'm just gonna put this a little bit on my lid to help me um, with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. And then we're gonna take this fluffy brush and just blend, tap it into my eye. While well, this dries a little bit, I just want to talk to y'all about like what the I've been going through, you know? How life has been going for me. I'm at this point where I don't really know what I want. It's like, um, like, I'm dating and stuff, but it's like, I'm not happy. You know? I just get really annoyed really fast when I feel like people aren't acting the way I'm used to people acting when it comes to me. And I feel like I'm having to teach these people how to be with a woman. Or maybe a woman like me in particular. The way they act and the way they go about things, it's just like, damn, like, what grown ass woman are you dating out here that's accepting this behavior unless they just don't care about you and they're not like trying to really get anything out of dating people. They're just like really playing around, which I am doing, I'm having fun. But at the same time, I'm still like, you guys are candidates, you know, for what my future could look like with somebody and for y'all to be like acting the way y'all acting but then saying y'all want something serious with me. It's just like, this is unfortunate this is how you act with somebody you're like trying to have a serious relationship with. I know what I am willing to accept and not accept, you know what I'm saying? I know what I'm looking forward to when it comes to being with someone because I feel like I'm like all the way above average, you know what I mean? Like, and I'm just talking about the looks thing because people be getting that misconstrued, like think somebody's talking about looks all the time. Like, no, I'm talking about the whole package. I don't think that just because I'm pretty, like I'm just automatically should get treated like a million bucks you know what I'm saying but just my personality how good I am to people how I am period my character who I am as a person is just like someone you should be like trying to really hold on to and treat like the princess and the queen that I am like I treat everybody that I'm dating I treat them good I show them you know that I care and I want their well-being and I always try to make sure I answer. so if somebody calls me I'm gonna answer the phone and say whatever whatever or I'm gonna text you back or text you and be like say something like I'm not just gonna ignore you and act like I didn't see you call me or see you text me or whatever the case may be and i don't like that about people because i'm not the type that's going to be on your back like just keep it a stack with me and be like oh i'm talking to this person i'm talking to that person if we're just dating we're just dating like be real about the situation the age cosmetics royal affairs palette and i feel like i've showed you guys this palette before but these are the colors so i'm gonna take this little pointer brush it's kind of like a pointer brush but it's a main one and i get a lot of my brushes from amazon so they really don't have like a couple of them don't always have names and stuff like that on them so what I'm going to take right now, the first color I'm going to take out of the BH Cosmetic Palette is this brown, which is the color Duchess, and just pack that on this little, this little pointer brush, just pack that on there. And you just want to pack it where you want it at. So we're going to put it right there, where the crease is. First, we're just gonna place it there. And then I'm gonna take this one 
and then put the color. Um, I'm gonna mix Majesty and Prince together, which are the two like lightish brown colors. I'm gonna mix those with my fluffier brush. It's called Real Precision 15, and this is another um, like this is another like um, Amazon brush. And it's okay if everything is a little messy because you know once you put your foundation on and conceal and everything, it's not gonna be that messy. So I'm just taking that right above the brown to blend the edges out on that darker brown. Okay, this looks pretty blended. And so now I'm gonna take um, Tarte Shape Tape and put it on the back of my hand like I did that other concealer. Like this. Okay. I'm just gonna take it on the brush. Put it on both sides. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna change the whole look around. I'm gonna take this Jaclyn Hill palette and use the color to work, which is the blue. Okay. And then I took the green in that palette. I basically just stopped naming the colors I was grabbing. I'm just gonna try to put it in the description box because this looks already getting OC really quickly. So I just had to. You know, make something shake, make everything work. Hopefully I can achieve this look on the other side. So we're finished so far with that eye. That's all we're gonna do like right now. Now we're gonna move on to this eye. First, I'm going to put on my favorite primers. These are the Becca Backlighting Primer and the First Lighting Primer Filter. Everything still comes together in the end, and it looks really good. This is literally like one of my favorite songs. And then you go over the wedding is at the top. And then you go over the wedding, and then you just put my primer on with a foundation brush from Real Techniques. So now that that's done, I'm gonna spray a little bit of this um, Mario Badescu rose water on my face real quick. Now we're gonna put the foundation on. I'm gonna spray like three pumps on my hand. So I'll wet it. Now we're going to dip it in there. Start to blend when you grab my hair so I can see up close what I'm doing. 
Yeah, I'm kinda of lost. Now I'm up in the club with a couple of old homes. Yeah, good nigga trying to talk. Working for the club, drinking for the fuck. So, just my time at home. Now you guys all blended in. Next, we're going to do concealer. I'm gonna add a little bit of this concealer I don't like. Literally, just that line. And then add some touch shape tape right there where the corners are. Sorry about the noise in the background, like I told you. We're in the ghetto with these hood boogers right now, so. It's kind of going to be a little noisy. Okay. And we're going to let this dry a little bit. Go back to what I was talking about a little earlier. Well, I'm really serious about stability and consistency. And if you're acting you can't do like the simplest shit, like texting me back, calling me every day and stuff like that, or every other day, like making sure I'm good, just checking up on me. If you can't do those types of things, it's like, bitch, then I know you really can't do the hard shit when the hard times come. I know when shit gets real, you're really not going to be there pretty because one guy that i'm talking to right now and this is the one i like the most really been putting me to the test like it's been days when i really needed him and i was like having like just being stressed out about life period and just being in my head about stuff and he tells me i'm telling you i'm always in my head and blah blah i've been cheating on and my ex did this blah blah, blah. and i'm telling him like nigga literally everybody i've ever been cheating on me and people keep thinking like it's unbelievable like why was somebody cheating on you like look at you it doesn't matter what you look like that shit is irrelevant but that's what cheat just because they can so that's what i'm saying like if you're telling me all this bad stuff and I'm showing you nothing but good signs and treating you like a king, but really, we're not even together, but I'm still trying to show you, you know, how much I care and how good of a person that I naturally just am, and you're not giving me that same energy. I feel like you just up here and there and you always compliment me, telling me how beautiful I am, stuff like that, which is cool, that's fine, I appreciate that, but I know how pretty I am, I know how beautiful I am, I know me, I look at me every day, I see my face every day with and without makeup on, I look good both ways, I don't need somebody to, like, tell me, you know what I'm saying? If, I mean, it's nice, I'm not saying that, but it's like I need more from you than just that, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like he's content with that, like he thinks that's like enough and I should be okay with that like no like I get a lot of compliments and they they're, they really don't mean nothing except for you want to fuck me you think I look good enough to fuck that's how I'm looking at it like when I need somebody to talk to about the rough day that I had you know like I'm going through family issues where is that stuff at you know like people be thinking about the wrong stuff I'm gonna wet my beauty blender one more time people are just weird and stupid and then when they lose you they want to be like acting like they don't know what they did like I don't get it Get how serious the simple stuff is, you know. I'm not asking the soul to buy me everything that I want and need. I'm doing it for myself. And if you want to do that, that's fine. But it's not like I'm asking people to buy me things. I'm literally asking for your time because my time is precious to me. But I'm still giving it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put some Carmax on. Okay, I'm gonna add some right there. On that crease right there. Mustache and smile line area. I'm gonna take this little angled, it's like an angled contour brush. So we're gonna take the Fit Me and the color 360 Mocha Matte Poreless. I'm gonna take that, just swirl it around in there. As you can see, I need to buy some more because it's getting down to the end. Okay. We're gonna start contouring. I'm gonna take my, I believe this is Lancome, Tint Idol Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. I'm gonna take it on the back of my hand, actually. Just rub a little bit on the back of my hand, and then I'm gonna take the brush and dip it in whatever I have on the back of my hand. Okay. So just move whatever out of your way and just like press it into the skin. And it makes it very much so lighter when you take it off the back of your hand. It's not as pigmented and strong as you just like lighting the stick on your actual face. So, especially when it's a darker one, because this is darker than a normal like contour stick that I use to like bronze my face up, because I'm not really into like super contour look anymore. I'm more into like just a bronzer face look. Like nothing too dark, you know. And now we're gonna take it across my nose to contour my nose. Okay, I'm gonna take the lighter one on my nose because I still have it, it's just like really at its, at its end of the road. But I'm just gonna dig my brush in there a little bit so I can contour my nose with it. 
I already have some of the darker one on there, but we're just gonna take the lighter one and put it right over top. Take this little fluffy, precise fluffy brush and like blend how the nose contour, blend it out, blend it out, blend it out. You want to blend up into like the bone, your nose bone structure into your eyes off right there to give it a more natural look. Spray this tomorrow, but that's good spray on um, and that just did the trick. This little pointed wet brush and take that little blue. Shadow, you really have to pack your product on there. No funny, you really have to pack your colors on because if you don't, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be the way you want it to be. It's not gonna come out how you want it to come out. You know, somebody wants to sit there for 30 minutes and watch a video. Like, so I'm really gonna try to cut a lot of things out, but you still be able to see like exactly what I do and everything like that. And you know, if you get powder on you, I mean, like if a little bit of fallout comes from whatever you're putting on, just take the um whatever brush you use for like your mineralized skin finish at the end or whatever you use to like blend everything together at the end you take the brush that you use for that stuff which is the fit me powder that i use so i keep taking that little angled brush and like dusting away the excess powder that falls onto my nose and now we're gonna take it right there on the brush super highlighter like i said i'm gonna definitely try this time to put everything in the description box like the products I use, because I didn't literally name everything that I used. I didn't name it, so. Or maybe I'll put it somewhere on the screen or something like that. I'm going to go in with the Pro HD Amplified Palette from Revolution. Makeup Revolution? Yeah. I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to put, like, a little bit on there. Hey, 
the finished look so I didn't have my lower lash mascara on when I did my ending so I just wanted to show y'all you know <laughs> with the lower lash mascara on but yeah like I said thank you for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on your notification bell to know every time that I post and yes, I just really want to thank you for your support.